Hello, everyone. Before we begin today's topic, let me just introduce this drawing. This is a uh, mermaid based on a damselfly. I got this idea after I saw one in my yard, and then suddenly that same evening, I jumped out of my bed and wrote this into my idea book. I have an idea book. It's beautiful, by the way. You have to see a picture of it one day. Anyway, today's topic is health and why it's so important to take care of it. So, not a lot of you know this, but for the past year, I have really, really been struggling with my health. First, it was endometriosis, which I have talked, mentioned, talked a little bit about, but not in detail. Basically, it's been like having a flu for eight months. I still tried to get art done. I still tried to keep up with Instagram and YouTube and Facebook and all those social media. And it's just not possible. After I got proper treatment for my endometriosis in January, I got a depression. <laughs> Probably as a result of all the stress that lies with having the symptoms of a flu, a really bad flu, for eight months. I mean, who wouldn't go insane? I would. I'm a workaholic. But I feel like that wasn't even the worst part. I was always tired. And I still am very tired. But I also just last week found out that I have quite severe vitamin D and vitamin B12 deficiency. Plus, I have a very high cholesterol. Uh, probably genetic. I don't know, that's what he said. But prior to this, I was in the hospital two times the past month. I haven't barely been able to eat. I sleep all the time. For the past month, it's been literally four hours of awake. Still tired, but awake. And then I couldn't stay awake anymore, so I had to go back to bed for like seven, eight, nine, ten hours back to being awake for four hours and then back to bed. That is all I could handle. Four hours was my limit. That was all I could be awake for. You can't get anything done when you're like this. You barely eat, first of all. Second of all, you feel sick all the time. Third of all, you sleep all the time. <laughs> How are you going to keep up with social media and the like when you feel like this? You can't. So I sort of came to the realization that I should probably do something about this. So I went to my doctor and while we've worked out a plan, it's gonna take time and I, I'm not gonna get back on track just within a few weeks. And that's why I don't post often. That's why I don't... Sometimes I, sometimes I disappear for months. And it's literally because I can't be on. <laughs> I, I can't finish something. I can't finish video editing. I can't get out of bed. And it's really hard, you guys. You have no... It's so hard. So, I guess the point is, please, please, please prioritize your health. Don't be like me and try to push yourself anyway, because you won't feel better at all. I've gotten my first shot of B12 now. Yes, we're doing shots, because it's that bad. And I already feel better, which is insane. I'm on the right track. But, I'm not okay, and that's okay. 
I can be not okay for a while. I hope you guys understand and I hope you guys take care of yourselves. Here is my finished piece. I honestly really enjoyed doing this piece. It was really nice to get to be very creative and try out something new, such as this background. <laughs> and I will see you in my next video.